Yo, this currency over at WGCI right now, Chicago chilling. Uh, what day is this even? This is Wednesday. Yeah, all right, yep. Yeah. Cool <laughs> Wednesday. Cool Wednesday. The weather's good. I'm chilling. You know. All right. How are you enjoying Chicago so far? The beautiful cool. weather. The weather's nice. I'm just hungry. Just hungry. Yeah, man. I keep saying I'm trying to get the Harold's. That's all I'm trying to do. Some Harold's, some mild sauce. I'll be all right after that. I feel like you always talk about food. Yeah, Your you last know. interview, you were eating double chunk chocolate chunk ice cream. Yes, on yes, the phone, yes. right? Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm always, I'm always working, so that always makes you famished. So I'm always, I'm always trying to grow up when I get a second. Right. You know. Just curious, what's your yeah. favorite food? Cause I'm hungry now, so um, we can talk about this all day. I think I think pizza has been a staple in my life for quite some time. I hate to I hate to take it down such a notch. Like of course I could have said chicken parmesan or some kind of T-bone steak or whatever, but I, how often how often do I eat that? I think I'm more on the go, so I probably end up with like a slice or something from somewhere. All right, Chicago yeah. style or New York style. Those it's apples and oranges though. See what I'm saying? That's apples and oranges. You gotta. It, it depends which one you want. Cause that's two different styles of pizza. Honestly, that's like that's that and that. You know what I'm saying? That's two different things. Right. Yeah. All so right. I like all. I like either. Okay, we can get off this subject. <laughs> I haven't had lunch yet, so <laughs> excuse me. I can dig it. All right, let's get into the music. Um, how long have you been rapping? Man, successfully, uh, maybe like since I, I would say since like 2008, uh, because that was the year that I put out uh, the mixtapes that kind of garnered my position on the Double XL cover for the freshman 2009, mm -hmm. and then after that, I feel like it was all uphill from there. I mean, you know, like it all just got better and better from that point on, from then to right now, and it's still getting better. But I honestly have been trying to do this like since grade school like anybody else you know what i'm saying whoever had a, a dream to do anything you know i wanted to do it since since i ever saw anybody else do it since i first saw rap i was like that's it you know but i didn't really take it too serious because my parents you know was heavy on education and do this you know get out of school blah blah, blah. so i just played with it it just so happened that, that i knew some people in the game you know like like uh, me knowing uh, C Murder and being able to pick game up from P and all that, it was kind of a segue for me to get into the game, you know. All right. Well, you said you've been rapping since about grade school. Yeah. Do you remember any of your lines or songs? I, I don't remember the lines, but I remember the song was called Mr. Wilson. It was <laughs> about the dude from Dennis the Menace. Me and two of my other homies were on it. My one homie, Alfred, he wrote his verse, and he said he said something dope. I can't remember it, but I remember his line was, was ill. And I wrote I wrote my other homeboy a verse for him because he couldn't really rap. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. The first song was Mr. Wilson, though. Know? All right, well, I know you're really big on your friends, putting your friends on, supporting your friends. I hear it in every interview. As long <laughs> as my friends are good, yep. I don't care about anything else. I just want to put my friends on. Yep. Are some of the people you grew up with, are you still friends with them yeah, now? Yeah, we all on the bus. Everybody who I grew up with, unless they have like some remarkable job or, or responsibility to where they have to be home, is on the bus. Like I, I got my little cousin, like not my little cousin, we're the same age, but we've been like friends. We've been together since like we were getting in trouble for breaking vases and knocking stuff over in my mom's house, you know. So I have those friends with me, like from very little, from bee stings and not knowing how to swim and all that kind of stuff. I got all those same people with me right now. So and when I didn't have and they had, you know what I'm saying, through through the struggle of trying to get on with this music, it's times where you don't have, you know, and your your homies like they do. And they always looked out for me, so I would be like a complete jerk to not be, you know, not have the mindset I have with regard to my friends because they real. All right. So what were you like as a child? Speaking on your childhood, what were you like? Uh, I was just chilling. I, I didn't really get into too much. My friends got into more trouble than I did. I kind of was more like inside. I played video games. Uh, 
I rode bikes. I, I had I built model cars. I had turtles. You know what I'm saying? I had like I had like a fish tank with turtles. I uh I used to play uh game when 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 online gaming first came around, like I was like one of the first people like to play Doom 3D on the computer. Like I was just into that kind of stuff, man. I uh once I got once my older brother, my older brother, Marcelo, uh, kind of brought me around, and I started seeing other things. I, I I saw, you know, what I like. I started seeing cars and things like that, and I knew what I would have to do to get it. Was either in the streets, <laughs> basketball, uh, entertainment, and I'm not seven feet, and I I don't really want to shoot anybody or sell no dope, so. I had to get in the studio. Yeah, short people can play basketball, too. Yeah, yeah, I could play, but I wasn't going to the league. I wasn't tall enough. I'm like five nothing. Man. You got a rep for us. <laughs> I'm only five one, but I act like all I'm right, six. But I don't, but all right, well, we'll see you. We'll see you at the WNBA. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be the bench warmer, maybe. See, I wanted to be like seven foot dunking on shit, so it didn't go that way. So oh. I took it to the booth. Yeah, you did pretty well. You Thank did you. pretty Thank well. You. All right, were there anyone um, that you looked up to? Yeah, man. Uh, the people who I listened to, uh, Slick Rick, Snoop, Jay-Z, Biggie, uh, rest in peace, Soldier Slim. He was, like, one of my favorites, and he was, like, my big homie, too. So he was kind of, like, hands-on, like, helping me with stuff in the game, you know, before uh, he was taken from us, you know. But, uh Everybody else, you know, like Raekwon, AZ. Um, I had the pleasure of working with Raekwon. Me and AZ have 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 since spoken. The people who I who I, who I grew up listening to, I've managed to try and work with them. You know, I keep them. I, I've managed to uh, to build relationships with them. So it's tight. All right. Well, I know um, you had a, quite a time actually officially meeting Snoop. You ran into him a couple times, but yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, one time was crazy, and I, uh, I just brought up Slim, but Slim fought, like, through a crowd in the House of Blues one time, a long time ago, like, to drag me through to meet Snoop at a time when I, I, of course, I was too young to be in the House of Blues for a Snoop concert, but Slim got me in and fought me all the way through that so I could see the concert and meet homie. Then I met him, like, like uh, one other time, you know, at a club, but when it wasn't really about me. And now, you know, we got a better relationship. Now I'm very happy, you know, because I, I respect it on music. So it's just tight that we, that we jam, you know. Yeah, it's definitely a blessing, definitely mm -hmm. a blessing. Um, you've accumulated a lot of success in what I would say a short um, amount of time. Um, are there any things that you would do differently, knowing what you know now? Nah, um, because everything that I did, every mistake I made, like, sharpened me up for this so anything that comes at me I know how to handle it because I have experience I've been through some things so if I if I wouldn't have done some things when it comes to me it would kick my ass a different way like because it already beat me at one other time and it made me better so if, if I wouldn't have done it then I would still have to deal with it so nah I wouldn't do nothing different I'd do it all again because I, I see now you know what happens so Definitely. Well, you're definitely somebody a lot of artists will look up to. Um, you Thank went you. from No Limit to Cash Money to Warner, and these are labels that people would kill to yeah. have a exec even listen to from Absolutely. one of them. And you've Absolutely. worked with all of them. How does yeah. that feel? Well, I mean, it, it it's cool. It's cool because I think the fact that I I, I man I maintained uh, amicable, you know deal with, 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 with any situation I've been in. I never burned no bridges and I could still reach out and, and and work with anybody who I ever worked with. So I think that's what that's what makes it good. The 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 ability to work with different companies and not and not be not be deemed as like wish washy. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, that that's what would would have happened. You would think like yo he's played for this team, he played for this team, he played for that team, uh, you know. But I did everything, you know, with a business mind, so. Definitely, definitely. All right. Do you have any celebrity crushes? Nah. No. Nah, I'm good. I love money. And, um, cars. That's your celebrity crush. Cars and money. I'm straight. 
Yeah, all right. All right, have you had any crazy experiences on tour? Nah, I'm, yo, honestly, I've been, I've been doing this not so much when it, not, not even in my shoes, but I've been on the bus since, like, since Master P was on, was touring. And so I just seen so much craziness because the first tours I ever went on was like big arena things and I wasn't performing but I saw it, you know, so I didn't see people running up on stage, naked getting thrown off of stages and all this. So at this point it's it's just it's just it's just a hustle for me. I go out and, and put the music down for the people who want head and, and holler at my homies and my homegirls and get back on the bus, man. All right, that's perfect. We're just about to wrap this interview up. Um, if you want to go ahead, shout out some people. Uh, oh, nah, yeah. Stone the Magnet, June Fit, everybody who I love is on there. So buying that would be like shout out to them. So Stone the Magnet, June Fit. That's all you got. Speaking of that, can you give us a little taste of what's on there? Uh, production from Pharrell, Justice Lee, Daz Dillinger, Master Beats. Um, the Innovators, I got guest verses from Wiz, uh, well, I guess I got, that's my, that's my brother, but I probably had to say his whole name, like, Wiz Khalifa, and, uh, uh, Estelle, Marshall's Ambrosia, 2 Chains, Wale, uh, of course, my whole team, you know, June Fit, Stone the Magazine, just get it, you know.